Hello everyone, welcome to my Facebook Live or my YouTube channel for my free online class. It's my second class in the series of four free classes celebrating love. And today we're going to use the super cute Love Cats stamp set. You don't have to love cats to love the stamp set. It's just super cute and we're going to make three fun fold cards and a cute 3D gift for Valentine's Day. A really easy one. It'll be really, um, really easy to reproduce. Before we get there, I'm going to just look at my, um, sorry, my husband <laughs> walked across the room and I got distracted. So I'm looking down at my laptop here and I'm going to get myself brought up on that so I can see your comments. That's really the only place I can see comments. So I take a minute for Facebook to have it show up. So here we go. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Hi. Friends are coming out. Hi, Diana. Hi, Chris. Hi, Pam. Cold and rainy in North Carolina. You know, it's cold and dreary here today in Lincoln, Nebraska. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm kind of already done with winter. I'm going to, one more thing, I've got to just get myself on my iPad. My Sorry, I have to get my head in the camera here. Um, I have to, I really got, really got my head in my camera. Got to get myself pulled up on my iPad as well so that I can actually see what you see. That's where I watch to see what you're watching and my laptop is where I see your comments. So let me get this back out of my way so I'm not so close to the camera. And let's get started. Um, before we actually make the cards, hi Kay, welcome. Would you please, uh, I invite you to like and follow my Facebook page if you're watching on YouTube. Um, subscribe to my channel. I would love for you to do that if you enjoy the video and click the notification bell so you see the future videos that I post. And if everybody, if you would share my video, whether you're watching live or replay or on YouTube, uh, that would be wonderful too. That really helps me grow and helps me bring you more ideas and videos. Okay, everybody, let's get making some fun stuff. I'm going to click a little icon on my camera. Thank you for the hearts. You guys are the best. I'm going to click my little camera here on my phone, and it's going to make me go upside down. So hang on a second. Got to get the tools going here. And then you'll be right side up when you're watching my video. And sometimes it takes me a minute to get the camera adjusted because... I can't see exactly where it's going when I first turn it down. There we go. That's not too bad for the first day. Pretty good. Pretty good with that. I mean, for the first try. Okay, I told you we were going to look at Love Cats, and that's in our The Stampin' Up! January through April 2023 mini catalog, and it's on page 13. It is... Uh, the number for it is 160410 and it's $21. So that's where it is if you're looking for it. Or if you're looking online, you just go to my online store and type in Love Cats and uh, it'll come up and you can see it closer and in person. Okay, um, we're going to also combine it. Oh, one more thing and then we'll start our project. So. This is class two of my Celebrate Love series. So last week, these are the projects we made. And then everybody that put in a $35 plus order got all the supplies for these projects. It went in, I have one left, the rest went out yesterday. Um, it went in a little package like this. You get all the card supplies. <clears throat> Any embellishments? Well, no, not embellishments, sorry. All the card supplies, and if I used ribbon, I go ahead and include that. So you get everything to make them. I do the embossing, I do the all the cutting, all the scoring, everything. So this is last week's class. And then this week, um, and the next two weeks. So this will be for every three weeks. I mean, every week for the next three weeks. So 
um, you, in order to get the projects we're making, you just have to use the host code that's current for that week, and that's going to change every week. This week is this one, um, because my gifts are tied to the actual host code. So every week, this is going to change, and you order Wednesday through Sunday in order to get all the free gifts. So. Uh, a $35 order will get you supplies for three cards and one 3D project. That's every week. And a $50 order or more will get you all the project supplies, a PDF tutorial, and a free celebration gift. So this is this is how, what my PDF tutorials look like. And um, I have all the supplies listed for what I used, uh, their numbers actually, and their prices, and then all the detailed instructions plus close-up photos. So that's what the PDF tutorial looks like. You get that added when you have a $50 order, plus you get to choose a free celebration gift. And then a $75 plus order, you get all the supplies, the PDF tutorial, a free celebration gift, and whatever embellishment I'm giving away. This week, we're going to give away the Solid Faceted Gems. I should have a new one here to show you, but this is what they are. We'll be using them today. Um, some of the colors go with the paper we're using and some will go with other color set of paper that you probably have. But there's a big variety of blues and greens and pinks. Um, and so we're going to play with those today and have some fun with those. The other thing I wanted to tell you was, we'll get all this stuff out of the way. Uh, last week I sent... Every week I send a free tutorial to my newsletter subscribers. Last week I sent how this is a this has cowtail candy in it, and this is what the tutorial I sent last week. Now I would like your help for this week. I'm not sure what I'm going to use. So this these cards may or may not be the exact cards I would send in the tutorial this week, but I would like your input as to would you like me to use fragrant flowers would you prefer that a tutorial for that it might not be this specific card or would you prefer this cute little celebration stamp so thanks a bunch a project with one of those i've kind of narrowed it down to those two so you could just type in the comments while i'm getting the project ready which of those you might prefer hi sam hi char hi pam Oh, thanks for sharing. That's really sweet. And Diane, thank you. That tree holder is was a big was a big success. <laughs> a lot of people wanted to get the tutorial for that tree holder, so that went out last week with the, all the orders. Okay, um, so let me know. Hi, Barb. Pam says thanks a bunch. So far, she's the only one weighing in on what we should what you'd like to get for a free tutorial. And again, it might not be this exact card but our project but which stamp set would you like to see some projects with okay either ones i'm open to either one let me kind of get them up here in the screen um i haven't made my project yet so i don't know that it would be these exact ones but i just wanted you to help me choose so that i kind of know a direction you might want to go sam says thanks a bunch uh Pam, thanks a bunch. Lots of Debbie, thanks a bunch. Okay, I think that's it. We're going with thanks a bunch. Thank you for your input. You can still... Oh, Diane wants the flowers. Now we've got a little competition. Um, I know I'm so torn. They're very, very different. This has celebration paper that goes with it, that coordinates with it. This has... Um, this is on its own, but there's lots of cute things you can do with it. So, and maybe, we'll, oh, and Kay wants flowers too. So everybody keep chiming in because I'll go back and look through the comments and then I'll, um, I'll go with whatever it looks like the most people would like to see. Alrighty, let's get going on our project. So today, the first project I'm going to show you. Well, all the projects today are using this paper. This paper is actually in the, it's a host paper that you can get. It's in the back of the, <coughs> excuse me, the mini catalog. Um, and it's kind of hard to see. You can easily miss it. It's on page 90 
of the mini catalog and it's right up here and in order to get this paper you host a party and your party has to be well actually it has to be a hundred and eighty dollars or more a party does qualify for host dollars when it's at 150 but this this set of papers is eighteen dollars so you have to get to 180 which is not that hard not not that much more than 150 in order to get this paper but it's so cute and it's bright and cheery and i wanted to use something bright and cheery let me show you the papers up close and personal because i'm a person that has Oh, Debbie, that's a good idea. The farm paper goes great with the carrots. I had not thought of that. That is an excellent thought. And maybe we'll do one this week and one next week. You know, we can do we can do celebration or or a mini catalog either week. So these are the beautiful. What's the name of this? Flowers and more. That's the name of this. And. Um, it was it's so bright and cheery. I love the purple. I love the combination of the purples and the sweet sorbet. Um, I think this one's really beautiful. This to me looks kind of like something Japanese-ish. And these are all the ones you get. So you get 48 12 by 12. It's 12 by 12 paper. I just cut mine in 6 by 6 to show you. And in the back, you know, they always do a little bit more simple background on the backs of the paper i just wanted to use this because i started to say i am a sad person you know what that is seasonal affective disorder and this dreary cold weather the gray skies if i can i can have it be cold if i have sun but when I don't see the sun for several days, I start being affected <laughs> in not a good way. I start kind of being, you know, less energy, less motivated, kind of down a little bit. Um, so that's why I picked this paper because I thought it would be really fun uh, to do something bright and cheery. Now, we're going to start with a piece. Uh, this, is, this card is a fun fold and it's called... I didn't write this down for you, but it's called a slide and lock card. And these are the measurements. I'll give you a minute to write them down. And I'll show you. It's a fun fold that is really easy. You know me, I like easy fun folds. And this paper is, this is, sorry, I can't speak. This is Starry Sky, and it is... Five and a half by eight and a half, just like your normal card. And it's scored at one and a half. I've already scored it. And it's scored at five and three quarters. So that's that part of it. Now, I'm going to actually start the mechanism, show you the mechanism first, because you can use this with any card. And it doesn't have to be um, a gatefold like this that is uneven. It can be exactly even. It can be however you want it to be, but it just has to come together like this on the front. So, the first thing I'm going to show you is how to make the mechanism for it to slide. So, we're going to take two pieces of Whisper White that are two by two, and we have two pieces of um, Starry Sky that are two by two. So, I'm going to get my score, well, I'll get my paper trimmer. And the blue ones don't have to be scored, but the white ones have to be scored. So let me show you what we're going to do here. I'm going to go to one inch, which is half of this because it's two inch square. And I'm going to just score it. I push down on my scoring blade a little bit hard because my particular scoring blade is a pretty light indentation. So I like it to be just a little bit more... A little bit more indented so and that's how we do that part this is so easy you guys I would love to see if you make this so if you make this card make sure you sorry I was looking at my screen and everything froze on it sometimes my computer freezes and then hi Kathy Okay, Pam, that sounds good. She's going to watch replay later. 
Everyone, she says, everyone have a great week. Kathy Rubel, it's snowing in Michigan. Oh yeah, sun is huge, huge. Okay, so we're just taking these little folded papers. And again, this mechanism you can use on any size of main image that you're gonna use. I'll show you what I mean by that, but let's go ahead and make it. So, all right, this is the folded side. So these two folded sides are gonna go like this. So let me grab, I'm actually gonna use Stamp and Seal Plus for this. You could use Tombow, but I'm gonna use, and I want this to really stay put. Now Stamp and Seal, the trick to Stamp and Seal Plus is not to push down too hard, it'll tear your paper. So you just wanna very lightly put it down, but I'm putting down quite a bit because I want this to really hold. In fact, I might put some across too. And then we're just gonna take this folded edge and we're gonna put this, we're gonna line this up with this corner here, like this. Okay, same with this one. Here's, here's the folded edge. My hands are dry, I can't hold on to anything. And then you put it here. Okay, so at this point it's gonna look like that. Now what we wanna do is, this is, and we're gonna put this on top and this is what makes your sliding mechanism. See how that's gonna work? So let's go ahead, we're gonna really, really put a lot of glue or adhesive. I'm using, again, I'm using Stamp and Seal Plus. See, I tore my paper. Just don't press too hard. I do press my, oh, it's doing it again. I do press my Stamp and Seal you know what, I'm just gonna grab a little piece of tear and tape right there. But I do use, um, I do press harder on my regular stamp and seal. So I kind of go into autopilot with it. I'm gonna put a lot of adhesive on this particular piece, okay? And because we people are going to slide this, so they're gonna manipulate this in order to open the card. So you wanna make sure that it doesn't come apart. So we're just going to go with that and I'll take my take your pick tool and we're going to take off this adhesive and back to the weather and seasonal affective disorder. So I grew up in Colorado. Colorado is a very sunny state and whoever thought about too much about clouds when clouds came they would come and go you know whether it was rain or snow sometimes it was snow for a whole day or so but rarely a second day of cloudiness anyway i moved to nebraska because it was my first teaching job i got in nebraska and january and february hit and i thought oh my gosh is the sun ever going to shine again i really really noticed it Okay, so now I'm just putting my other two by two square here on top. And this is our slide and lock mechanism. And you can use this these two by two squares for any image that you're going to put on your card. Okay, let's get our card made so you can see what we're going to do here. Let's do some stamping. We're going to... Now, I apologize to, apologize to all you kitty lovers that are going to be offended by my blue kitties. <laughs> It's because my paper doesn't have any black in it. Oh, this is the one I want. Hang on, let me get my other one. I'm using my stamp rest. But because my paper doesn't have any black in it, I did make one black kitty. I could have made a gold one because there's crushed curry in here. I've got this set up for another project, but I'm just going to set that aside for a minute. And then I also... Okay, so here's what I did. I'm moving my magnet because... I don't need it for a moment. So I set this shape on my um, Stamparatus because I, I'm, I, what I did first is I put the kitty on and then I thought, where does that go? And then I, or where will it stamp? And then I put my shape here and I knew it was gonna stamp in the right place. So that's where I wanted it. And then what I did is, I don't know if you can see this very well. Let me grab my, marker okay i'm gonna grab a marker i just outlined this corner here i don't want to put it right up next to it because i don't want to get orange marker on my card but i just and i originally just used pencil when i was uh designing this card so 
you probably couldn't see it very well, but there with the orange, can you see how that fits in there? Then I am going to put my magnet back down here to hold it. I know Kay's a, a kitty person. Her kitty's name is George, and George is a beautiful cat, but she shares our, her pictures of George on Facebook. So, Kay, I hope you're okay with that blue kitty. <laughs> It's gonna be, this one's gonna be a dark blue kitty. All right, so we're gonna use Starry Sky as our ink, and I don't know if I'm in the picture. Let me move over here just a bit. There, that's better. It helps uh, when you're inking your stamp. If you have a stamp case, this is uh, just a regular clear mount stamp case, and the height of it helps you not get ink over everywhere, although it, it does get all over your door anyway. Now I'll move back into the photograph a little bit more or into the viewing area. And then we're going to stamp our kitty. And then because these are such solid stamps, which is why I love the Stamparatus for them, then you can re-ink your, your stamp and you can make it a little bit more defined and darker. So I'm going to try that. And that's pretty good. We could probably use a little bit down by his face right here we'll try that there we go that's really good that's a good image and today is george's gotcha birthday he's eight years old oh my gosh happy birthday george that's so exciting he's really beautiful Kay. i enjoy your photos on facebook okay so we've got our kitty stamped and now let's put the rest of our card together i'm trying to see my sample um Oh, we have to do a little more stamping. So let's do that, and then we'll go ahead and finish our card. So I cut, I die cut a fresh freesia tag, and we're gonna turn the tag actually this way. Let's turn it this way, and we're gonna put our greeting. This is gonna be since this kitty is head over heels. We're gonna write, we're gonna stamp head over heels. Hi, Kathy. Um, you're, I'm just glad you're here. Never late. It's okay. Replay is not, you know, a lot of people I know are at work and can't watch during the day. So I love that you, when you can watch replay too. And go ahead and comment if you're watching replay and if you're watching on YouTube. I do come back and check my comments. And I, if you ask a question, I answer them. Um, if you just make a comment and say hello, I always come back and say hello back sometimes i miss the live comments it depends on you know what i'm doing <laughs> what i'm trying to show you and if i have a chance to actually look up at the comments okay um now we're ready so let's go ahead and put some pieces together this piece will go on let's see our card's going to go like this so this piece will be two and a Let's see, two and a half by five and a fourth. And again, I'm gonna, now I'm taking just my stamp and seal. And this you can put a little bit more pressure on and I'm just used to this one. But it's not as strong as a stamp and seal plus. So um, for things that people are gonna handle, 3D projects or anything where they're gonna handle it, I like to use stamp and seal plus or Tombow. If it's 3D, I especially like Tombow. We're going to make a 3D one today, but it doesn't require anything but many glue dots. This one is, I think, one and a, what is it? One and a fourth by five and a fourth. Okay, so there's that. Let's get the inside done. I'm going to make this pretty on the inside too. So for this, I cut a piece of designer paper. I think this is pretty much right at four by five and a quarter. So I'm gonna go ahead and put, I know usually we put the designer paper on top of white, but this time I'm putting the, I'm using the designer paper as a background, like so, okay? And then, by the way, if you, oops, that's Stamp and Seal Plus. By the way, if you order more than $150 so that you can get this paper, if you get up to 180, I will send you everything that I'm sending everybody that ordered $75 or more. So you'll get all the card supplies, you'll get the PDF, you'll get the gems, 
um, everything. So let's let's do this part. We're going to put him over here, and I'm just going to use Stampin' Dimensionals for that. Char, you've got snow. Hi, Margaret. It's snowing in Wisconsin. You know, I, does this sound weird? If it's going to be gray, I just assume it'd be snowing. The snow is beautiful, you know, and we live in Nebraska. We know how to get around in snow. I'm lining this up with this so that the kitty looks like he's kind of sitting on the tag. Then today, one of the embellishments I'm using is the, um, well, I don't know where the bag is, it doesn't matter, are the 20, 22, 24 in color Baker's Twine. So we're gonna actually use Tahitian Tide on this today. And sometimes I get asked, well, how do you make that double bow? All you do is, all I'm gonna do is take two strands and then I'm gonna just treat it as one. So I'll show you. I'm gonna just take this. I was looking in the iPad and I couldn't decide what to wear today because I don't know if you've noticed, if you've watched me before, I like for my clothing to not contrast with what I'm making. So I'm kind of careful about what I'm wearing in a video so that it doesn't look bad with with what I'm showing. Okay, that we're not gonna put that down yet. Let's go ahead and put this down. Well, we can't do that yet, Joey. Okay, so remember our mechanism we made, the slide and lock mechanism. So now what we're gonna do is we're just going to, I'll try and do this so you can see it. We're gonna just catch this here, and then we're going to put this on here. I'm trying to hold it up so it's kind of awkward to do it, but we'll get it like so. Do you see how that's going to work? And then we're going to slide it and it locks your card. So slide means obviously you're just going to slide it on like this. And then locking means that it's going to keep your front of your card edges together. Now, what's going to happen, and it happens every time because it's just kind of the nature of the whole design, is do you see how this is buckling and kind of curvy? That's okay. All you need to do is just kind of hold it down. And then you're just going to go ahead and crease it down on both. I'm holding this flat so that it stays flat. And it's okay that there's that little white that shows through anyway because we have white on the card and it's okay anyway. Okay, so there we go. So now it's flatter. Then let's go ahead. Now we're going to attach this guy to here but this can be any shape it could be a circle it could be a rectangle it could be any shape you want it to be this stays always the same so we're going to put our dimensionals on this square these are really fun you guys are not hard so i would love for you to try one and then you know post a picture on my facebook either my create with joey facebook group or my um, Create with Joey page right here. You can add a photo. I don't think you have to be an administrator on the page. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take off these. I'm using up the sides of my dimensionals because I don't waste them because they work just as well as the little circles. Okay, so we're gonna put this guy here I'm gonna try and kind of make it go about even there. So I'm gonna go over here with this guy. And then let's get our bow on with a mini glue dot. Who thinks they might try this? Oh, you like what's on my sleeves? Thank you. This is a new top. It's, it's a little lightweight for winter, but it's long sleeved and it had the right colors, so that was the winner. I don't like how this went on here. It went lower than I want to, so I'm pulling off the glue dot. I'm going to start over with that. Um, I thought it was cheery, and I know it's winter and it's flowers, but, you know, we got to do something to keep our spirits up during this. If you're living in a 
cold climate right now, you're probably having some of this dreary weather. And then it does continue, Nebraska, it does continue. Whoops, okay, you guys, here we go. This is a really bad idea. Okay, I'm gonna redo this whole thing. And you know why? Because this was holding my card shut and then people can't open it. So what we have to do is get that glue dot. Too busy talking about the weather. Um, let's get that glue dot right below the hole so it doesn't go through. Can you see what I'm doing here? I'm gonna take my take your pick tool. Now I'm gonna put this right below the hole. It's still gonna look like it's coming through the hole but um, it won't see how it won't close our card and keep it shut. Then let's grab some gems. And again, these are the, what are these? Solid adhesive back gems. That's what these are. And then we'll put a little, these maybe aren't exactly Orchid or um, Starry Sky. I don't really know. <laughs> I didn't look at the colors. I just pulled them out and said, I think these will work. And let's put another little one down, maybe here on the tag. And then I forgot to do this, but we should have colored our little hot, some, or hearts. I'm gonna grab the light sweet sorbet. And I just thought these colors were so pretty together. The sweet, or the fresh freesia and the starry sky and the Tahitian tide and the, um, what am I trying to say? Crush curry. Okay, there you go. There's your slide lock card. Anybody can make this, and then you just pull it off to open the card. Isn't that cute? So that's our first one with our first key. Oh, we need a heart on this. Gosh. You know, that's what was supposed to go there. So let me take that off. And just set it aside for a second. And then we'll put our heart on here. And this heart, I punched this with this. Oh, I put away my punch. With a bow, I won't get it back out, but the um, country bouquet punch. Let me get a dimensional. I think I'll get a mini dimensional for this. So I need to just grab that one. Usually before Facebook Live, I put out my dimensionals and my mini dimensionals and I forgot to do that today. They're right here in my workspace but for some reason when I'm on Facebook Live I can't find them. Okay I can't find my mini one so we're gonna try we're gonna try a bigger one. I think that'll work. Then we're gonna come down here and put our little heart on here. It does show a little bit. Let's try that. There we go. That's better. And I'll put stick this guy down here. I don't want it to cover up any of the words. And then let's come back to our little jewel and put it there. There we go. That's better. I wanted the heart to kind of tie in here. And I could have used any colors of the Baker's toy and it all it all fit, but I like that one. Thanks, Pam. Hi, Brenda. Oh, thanks, Kay. Thanks for the hearts, you guys. You're just so sweet. Okay, so there's that one. Then let's go to the next card I'm going to show you. I did two cards with this fold, and they're both very different, but I'm going to show you what I did. So for this card, we're going to... I did all the die cutting already. I will show you how to die cut during this video if you don't know what die cutting is. Um, just so you know, I don't want you to be lost about what the heck is she doing. <clears throat> this one, we're going to take the stamparatus again, and I have this set up already. We'll put this back. We'll bring this back at the end so you can see everything. And then um, I just did a stitched circle from the Stylish Shapes dies. This is not the biggest one, but I think it's the second biggest one. And we're going to do another kitty in the same color. So we're going to use Starry Sky. I'm going to get that back out. And hi, Chris. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. I had fun with these kitties. I really did. We're dog people. I'm allergic to kitties, so we don't have kitties 
mainly for that reason. Steve had a kitty uh, when he was single and was living in Arizona. And, but we don't have them because I, I can't have them. I'm gonna make my image just a little bit darker. So we've always had dogs. I think I need to do this again, actually. So let me, his little face and his little outside of his body is, I don't know if you can tell on video, but I can see it in person and I didn't get ink. There we go, that's pretty good. So we'll get that guy out. The Samparatus is so perfect for these large, these solid images. It just helps with that quite a bit. Oh, I see. I have got this set up for another project that we're doing today. <laughs> and I see I got it stamped a little bit. So now we've got this and we're just going to put this on a slightly larger uh, scallop circle from the layering circles. Layering circles, guys. I'm going to put this on here. And this is a really easy card. Then we're going to put, um, oh, I already see I forgot something here. Let me grab an inside of my card. I just forgot to grab an inside. Oh, that one's too big. Let me grab a little bit smaller. I, I have a, usually a whole pile of these, but of course, when I reach in my drawer right now, I'm not finding one, so we're just going to cut an inside. So if you need dimensions for the inside of your card, it's usually going to be four by five and a quarter so we'll just cut one really quick five and a quarter is right here let's get that cut and then that'll go on the inside of our card okay all right so and the reason we want it to be white you could actually write on this green card and your pen would show um, i usually put white on the inside of colored cardstock unless it's really light but one of the reasons we want this one, we want white on the inside of this card, is we're gonna put a little decorative paper down here, designer paper. It's from that same paper pack. This is all from that same paper pack. So if you order um, a minimum twenty or thirty-five dollar order, you'll get you'll get these little samples of this paper, and you can look at it close and personal. Okay. Now I have also scored this not only at four and a quarter, but also at two and one eighth. So that is scored like that because we're going to make a really easel, a really easy easel card. So I'm going to really score this down tight. Then we've got some more of this beautiful bright paper. I'm going to put this on a little bit bigger piece of basic white. And as I said, if you put a $50 order, you'll get the tutorial for these, so you'll have all the sizes. I'll give them to you real quick here. I think this might be three by four. Nope, three and a fourth by four and a fourth. Nope, four and a half, sorry. Three and a fourth by four and a half, and then just make it a little bit bigger uh, for your your mat is just an eighth inch or a fourth of an inch bigger. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take some of our Baker's twine and I'm going to, whoops, I'm gonna go this direction so I can tie it. So I'm gonna leave enough there to tie and I'm gonna wrap around two times and then I'm gonna cut it. Baker's twine is always really fun on TV, or on TV, on live video because it may or may not cooperate with you when you're trying to tie it sorry i'm making so much racket i could hear it over the video i'm okay and we're just gonna tie. you know what i do sometimes i'm gonna do it today too i know i want my bow over here somewhere so i'm gonna take a mini glue dot and I'm gonna stick it down on my card where I want the bow to go. Let's take this and then we'll go, let's see, I want this to go about, I think about here. So I'm gonna stick that down and then I have something to actually stick this bow to.
whoops okay let's go like this there we go okay so I'm gonna I'm actually gonna probably make a knot first and I'm gonna gonna stick that all down there well I didn't make a knot because it's gonna hold it okay so I'm gonna go like this and finish my bow like this while it holds it so it's kind of like that finger that holds it down for you when your time presence and you need an extra somebody to come hold the middle of the bow down while you finish it so i think that's pretty good we'll trim it up a little bit to the ends off okay now we're ready to assemble this so now we know we want uh here let's go ahead and put this guy on oh we've got the color again i forgot Let's get the heart colored. Again, this is there's sweet sorbet markers. Now, if you don't have this kitty set, you can use these card these card elements for any set that you have. You know, I made them pretty basic, so it won't be hard at all to substitute. You'll get like so I do the die cutting, you'll get both of these circles for you. And um so you can put any, any, any image of any stamp set that you have if you don't have this one. Anything would work in those circles, pretty much. You just have to make it sure it fits inside the circle. And then we're going to, this is how this is going to be, like this. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn this over. And then I know that I only want, see the adhesive, sorry, the adhesive only has to go down here. You don't want the adhesive up here. So when I turn this over, I know I need to have the adhesive down below. This is about where it's gonna go on the card. So I need to be below this, there's a score line. Those score lines, I need to be below that. And I'm gonna go ahead and use Stamp and Seal Plus again. Keep this down. Okay, then turn it over and then I can just center this on my card, like so. Isn't that green bright and pretty for, <laughs> for this time of year? I just love this green. This is Granny Apple Green, if I didn't say it right. So then this is what happens. It's not glued on the top, just the bottom. And then you have this little, can you see how that's gonna go? It's just a cute little e easy easel card. People can sit it up on their desk. And we've got a greeting. We haven't done a greeting yet. So I'm going to grab my, the greeting on this is I love hanging out with you because he's hanging. So let me find that. And then we'll go ahead and stamp that. We're going to stamp this in strawberry bouquet. Kathy, you have a black kitty that is 15. Oh my goodness. Thanks, Shirley. I'm glad you like it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to just stamp the greeting in strawberry, sweet sorbet. I don't know. I'm going to call this strawberry. We used to have a color similar that was strawberry something. And I just, I look at this one and I still call it that, even though that's not it. Now I'm going to go to my double oval punch and I'm going to punch. I'm going to use the scalloped oval and I'm going to punch that out. Oh, this isn't supposed to say head over heels. This is supposed to say, I love hanging out with you. Sorry, we got to do that again because it makes no sense for a hanging kitty. I just grabbed the wrong stamp. For a hanging kitty, when you, have, when you don't have the I love hanging out with you stamp. So let's do that again. Okay, there we go. 15 years, Kathy, that's pretty good, isn't it, for a kitty, or do they you normally live that long? I just don't know because we don't have one. My cousin, um, Carol, in Kansas City, she has a kitty named Opal, and Opal was the name of one of our teachers in college. It's such a cute name, and she's a cute kitty, although I've never seen her in person because she doesn't come out when, when we're there. She's not a people person, especially people she doesn't know. Okay, now let's go ahead and get this on here. I'm going to actually put these dimensionals to the side where kind of where I want this instead of actually on the 
the little tag. Yeah, there we go. I don't want to cover up the tail. And there we go. Let's get some gems on this one. I think I'll stick with that same color. Although there's pink in here. Let's go with pink. I did use blue on my sample card, but I think I'm going to go with this bright pink because there's polished pink in here. I don't know if you can see it from there. I know it's not the same as this. I probably should have used pink sorbet in the heart. Oh, well, we're going to go for it. It's a kitty card. It's supposed to be cute. And let's, let's go over here at this. And maybe we'll put one down here. And let's put one on the tag. And there's our cute little easel card. What do you think of that one? This is easy, you guys. Anybody can make this. And we're going to use this exact same layout on our next card. And I'll show you. It's going to be similar, but definitely not the same. So the same layout, 5.5 by 8.5. And I scored it at 2 and a quarter and 4 and a fourth. So we're going to make this one a little bit different, but I'll show you. But you can use that same template to make this card. Now this card, I'm going to take this folded edge and fold it like this. This is actually going to be a lengthwise card too. Thanks, Diane. Thank you, Kay. I'm glad you guys like it. I'm going to really crease this well. And then I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to itself. So I'm going to grab back the, you know, for this, well, I was going to grab my Tombow, but I don't want to take the time for it to dry. So I'm just going to use my stamp and seal and close that. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the inside of this one that I did on my last one. which is put an inside piece that's 4x5 and a quarter. Oops, whoops. Oh, usually that doesn't happen with stamp and seal. I tore my paper. Okay, and then we'll put this in like this. Okay, then um, I have already die cut this guy, and then I've got some... Oh, where's my pattern paper for this? Well, it looks like I didn't cut my pattern paper. Good heavens. I checked my supplies this morning. I made these yesterday or the day before. Let me grab my paper. Um, and I checked them this morning, but I obviously missed this. So I think this top piece is two inches by five and a fourth, but I'm going to measure it just to be sure yeah two inches by five and a fourth so let's get out our paper trimmer we'll get this kitty out of the way we'll bring him back later and let's go to there's a lot of colors there's also blackberry bliss in this paper which I'm not using today. I thought about using it for one of the cards, but, and then five and a fourth. Okay, it's already cut to that length, and then we have to cut one more piece that I think is two and five eighths. Let's see. By three and, let's see what this is. I think this is the right size. Yep, three and seven eighths, and we just need it two and so it's two and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and that fits in there. There we go. Now we're ready. Okay, let's get back to this now. Now this goes here, so I'm just going to go ahead and take a little adhesive and we'll get this down. here like so and then we're going to take this aren't these flowers pretty i really love this 
that particular designer series paper it really reminds me of tulips coming up in the spring i know they're not tulips but it reminds me of that with all the bright colors of tulips okay before we put this on our card we're going to go ahead and finish it so for this card this is where i was bringing this back in um we're gonna we are gonna make a black kitty for this card now this is already moved so i don't know if this is gonna work for us or not because let's see i'm just gonna get a different piece of paper i don't want to have to redo it if it doesn't work let's grab one let's grab this one i was trying to be efficient getting ready and i might have just made myself an extra Right now, I'm just checking to make sure the whole kitty goes on. I don't need the hearts. I just need the kitty. So, let's go back and I'll grab my cleaning pad. And then we'll get some Memento Black ink for this kitty. Now, these definitely could be Valentine's. In fact, one of them that we're going to make a 3D um, treat holder that is Valentine's. Um, obviously all the kitties have some kind of heart. So, but you know, we're doing celebrate love. We're not doing all Valentine's. So, I mean, the closer we get to Valentine's day, the less Valentine's I'll do. This might probably be the last Valentine, last class that has a Valentine project in it because, you know, we crafters, we have to order early and... Hopefully you've done that already. You've got your orders for your Valentine stuff in. If not, there is still time, but I would get it ordered soon because we're already, what, on the 20-something of this month? Okay, so there's our kitty. And again, I like using the apparatus for it because of the dark, how dark I can get the image. And then I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to fussy cut this guy. So when you're fussy cutting, you just leave a little white edge around it. And then if you get too close to your image, if you're trying to cut right at the image and you cut cl too close to it, um, it does look like you messed it up. So I try to just go near it. Now for the sake of time, I did already cut out a kitty, but I'll cut that one out and use him on a different one, but I already have one done. So I just grab this one and then I punched some hearts out. So I used these two punches. I used this one for the glimmer paper. This is an in color glimmer paper, 2022. Uh, no, this is the new 2023 through 25 glimmer paper. Is that right? Can't think. We're not using that one. Okay. So, well, now that's bothering me. Let me grab it. 2022-24 gl um, glimmer paper. It's in all those colors. Then I just punched those hearts, and I already did it again just to save a little time. And I'm going to go ahead and just adhere this. Hi, Kathy. Kathy, I'm so glad you could jump on live today. I know you usually watch the replay when you can. Okay, now let's we have we need a greeting so let me grab the greeting piece i think this greeting piece is one inch by probably three and seven eighths let's see one but yep one by three and seven eighths but we're going to get all our bits here done and then we'll assemble our card so, so for this i'm going to grab Tahitian Tide. yes kathy i'm so glad to see you too i'm glad you could jump on live i'm happy to see you you know when i moved to 12 30 instead of 6 30 i just wasn't sure how many people that normally watch me would be able to watch um i just couldn't do that long of a day i was recovering from covid right up you know right before christmas i was in the hospital five days with covid and a heart condition things just were not going well so, so even after that i was really tired i've the fatigue has hung, hung on a lot I, I think i'm i'm much better now 
but um, I just couldn't do, oh shoot, I got an ink on my, ink on my um, piece of paper there. I like to line these up on my grid paper. But when I was doing Facebook Live at 6.30 in the evening, um, it was a really long day for me because I wouldn't get done till about 8.30 and then I had to edit it and upload it to YouTube. And that takes at least an hour and it just made my Thursdays just too, too long. It, it just wasn't working. I just couldn't do it. So... I thought, well, I'll move to 12.30. I used to do Tuesdays at 12.30. I'm going to um, add this guy uh, pretty close to the bottom, maybe about a fourth of an inch from the DSP. I love hanging out with you. Let's get our, let's get our heart and let's pop it up here. So I'm so happy. The whole reason I said all of that was I'm so happy some of you that normally watch me in the evening can jump on in the daytime too. And I know this is a long one. These free online classes where I do four projects, I realize they're long. I'm going to put the heart up here. Because we want the kitty to kind of come down. We want, let's see, maybe what we better do is figure out where this kitty's going to go. I don't want the kitty's tail to... to cover up the words so now i'm going to put this since this is glimmer paper i'm going to use mini glue dots instead of any other adhesive because mini glue dots hold really well to since i can find my tool um, they hold really well to glimmer paper so i'm going to take several because we don't want them to come off so probably take maybe even as many as four. And because we want them to really stick to the glimmer paper. So if one doesn't hold, you've got three more that are going to hold. Now, do you see that I left on this shelf that he's sitting on? I didn't cut that off when I cut around him. And one of the reasons is I want to line him up with this edge of the paper. So I, that shelf, that little shelf he's sitting on, because I want it to actually look like he's sitting on a shelf. Makes sense? So here's the edge of it. I know it's white, so it's probably hard to see. But that was my idea behind that. And then all we need to do is, this is a fun fold, just an easy fun fold like this. We're going to, again, turn this over so we can see where we need that we need to make sure our adhesive is just up here so i'm going to gather my stamp and seal plus whoops and we're going to put this kitty kind of line it up so it's even on all the borders around it like that. And then there's our little cute kitty card. Oh, we forgot the gems. What am I doing? I keep forgetting the gems. So these gems, this is Tahitian Tide, and these blue gems are not really Tahitian Tide, but I thought they were good enough. They're close enough. So, and these are the gems you'll get with an order of $75 or more, plus the tutorial, plus all the supplies for the cards, plus a free celebration project or gift rather, I mean, and then all the other stuff. And I send these, so the sale ends, so my special ends, can't really see it there, let's put it there. My special ends Sunday night, it goes through Wednesday, tonight is I think January 23rd, and goes, whoops, and goes through, there's our, oh, well, I'm not done. I forgot my little bowl for my kitty. It goes through Sunday night, so it's the 23rd, Today, today's the 25th, so I'm sorry, I said 23rd, it's the 25th, and it goes through Sunday night, the 29th, my special. And then Monday morning, I go through my orders, and I cut all the supplies for everybody that's ordered, and send them out. Now, if you're getting an embellishment, I do order embellishments ahead of time to have it just to have in my stash, and if I have enough of them, 
um, I go ahead and send those. But if I have to order those, then your um, your goodie bag takes a little longer to get to you because I have to wait till it gets back to me from stamping up. Okay, so let's get a little bow here on our kitty. I'll use my tool. My Brady dog is walking around. Usually I corral him during Facebook Live because he tends to park, bark or he comes to me to go outside instead of his dad. That bow is kind of big. This is a better size, but you get the idea. But doesn't the Baker's Twine look so cute with these all these colors? I just really have fun with these colors. They're bright and cheery. And... Lots of fun. So that's our second card. And here's the one that is exactly the same dimensions and layout, but it is an easel card, and this one is just a fun fold. So we've got those two. Okay. Hi, Cheryl. Oh, thanks for sharing. Hi, Donna. Thank you. Thanks for sharing, everybody. That's so nice of you. Okay. This next one is going to be the easiest, maybe one of the easiest things you ever made. Let me grab my, um, we're going to use my new Boho Blue, little big shot, little big shot. It's not called that. It's called the Mini Stamp and Cut and Emboss Machine. <coughs> now, I have a piece of, this is liner paper, so I'm getting crooked, I can see. Um, this is 10 by, what is it, 10 by 3 and a fourth, 3 and a half. 10 by three and a half, and I have scored it at, where is it scored? I have to look at that. Scored it at four and a half, it looks like. Okay, now this is gonna fold like this. So I'm not even worrying too much about that fold, and I'm not gonna crease it really hard because I don't know how fat our candy is gonna be. But I'm gonna take our machine here. Oops, gotta get the handle this way. And this boho blue is a brand new color. Now, they haven't told us whether it's an in color or it's a new color that's going to join our regular color line. But it's a new color, and it's just so cute. Um, you can get this machine if you join Stampin' Up! right now. I have... A group of hobby demonstrators I also have business minded demonstrators and I help everybody with just whatever they want help with if they want to grow a business I help them with that if they just want creative ideas uh, that's what we do I do a monthly meeting on zoom I'm trying to think what I need to do here I need to grab the plates here. a monthly meeting on zoom and in person so you can you have access to me to ask questions we do card swaps. Um, oh, we want white. These are all the plates that come with it. Um, there's two for embossing folders and one for cutting. You can see I haven't used it very much. I've had it out on display for my people coming in. And two people joined my team just last week, so I'm excited about that. And if you want to know more about that, just... Just let me know, and we can either talk in person or um, we can communicate privately about that. All right, so this is that flap, and here is the line. So I kind of want to see where that is because I want my circle to go not exactly in the middle, but about here's the fold right here. So I'm going to go up maybe, maybe three-quarters of an inch or so. And we want, I wanted this hole in it because I want the candy to show through. Because if you've watched me before, you know that I like my treats. Whoops. I'm trying to only get one of these cut up and keep the other one. I like my treats to match my paper. That doesn't always happen. Sometimes with uh, peanut butter. Here's the fold, and I'm up about three quarters of an inch or so. Um... You know, the Reese's ones always have orange, pretty much always have orange. Now I'm going to just run this through on my die cutting machine. And we're going to set that aside. I need to die cut one more thing. 
You can save this circle for another project. That'll be fun. And then uh, we're gonna make a label, or we're gonna die cut a label. These are all of the stylish shapes dies that I'm using. Both of these dies are from from that set. Gosh, looks like I'm losing my lights. I know there's a glare, I'm sorry about that. We'll get this done quickly and then you won't have to look at that glare. So, I'll just go ahead and run this through. Sorry it's wiggling so much. When I have it on my counter, I have it on my um, silicone mat and then it doesn't slide around because, you know, it is lighter weight. Obviously, since it's smaller. Okay, so we're done with that, though. Let's do all those. And get this all ready. And then, I think we're ready to rock and roll on this. So, you guys know how you can find these in the sto stores right now. This is the Russell Stover Strawberry Cream Heart. And you can get them in usually grocery stores. I got mine in a grocery store. Our Walgreens has them. And we're going to make this a valentine so let's go ahead and well let's stamp our kitty first i'll show you what we're going to do with that in a minute but we need one more kitty and for this one we're going to go back to this kitty and then we're going to put this back in here for this project and now i'm going to clean this kitty off because we're not going to get a blue we're not using blue for this this one and for this i just to clean it off i just use um this chamois, the cleaning chamois, I think it's called Stampin' Chamois, I'm not sure. But it's just a chamois, and then I get all that blue off. And now my, my sample had a pink kitty, and I'm going to change that up and make an orchid ovulance kitty. And we'll see, <laughs> we'll see which one we like better. I just kept looking at that pink kitty, and I thought, that is really a pink kitty. I don't know. I don't know if a purple kitty will be any better. Or blurple. I kind of call orchid opulence blurple. It's kind of blue and it's kind of uh, kind of purple. Kind of blue and kind of purple. And then we need our uh-oh, where's my circle? Here we go. I already die cut the circle so I'd be ready for this. Let me just double check that it that's in the right place. Yeah, I think so. Let me just move this up and make really sure. So we'll see if you like this one, the Orchid Opulence Kitty, or if you would prefer the pink one. I'll show you the pink one when we're all done with this one. Hopefully that circle's in the right place. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if this Orchid Opulence Kitty is better than the pink one or not, but we'll look at You'll get to decide about that and see what you think. Okay, so there's this one, and that's stamped pretty well. And then, let's go ahead and stamp the greeting. So I will stamp the greeting in polished pink, because my other sample had the kitty in polished pink and my greeting in Orchid Opulence, but... I keep calling it that, Orchid Oasis. We had an Orchid Opulence once. That tells you how long I've been stamping. I've gone through a lot of colors with stamping up. Okay, so there's that. And these colors both go with the paper. Does it really go with the kitty? You could do this with any stamp set. You don't have, you know, you could do it with, with anything. I made this super easy. So, all right, I think that's all of our parts. Let me grab, we do need to punch a heart and I did have that punch put away. So let me get the punch clip. Sorry, I was cleaning up too much last night. This is the punch that's on back order. It won't be available until April 17th, so I hope if you wanted it for Valentine's, you've got it already. I showed it quite a bit, hoping that people would get it. Most of my in-person customers that wanted it got it pretty early. But if you didn't get it, you're not out of luck because it is, it is coming. 
Okay, so these are all, let's go ahead and make our tags. So we're gonna put this kitty kind of like this on the tag. So let me grab the dimensionals. I don't know if you guys like to make a lot of um, 3D projects. They're pretty popular with my customers. They do use their stamps and their pro products. I can't find my dimensionals. They use their, their stamping stuff, a lot of them, to make treats for like Valentine's or um, a lot of the holidays. You know, Easter's coming up. There will be a lot of people wanting treat holders and ideas for Easter. This could easily be, you know, the Wrestle Silver puts out those little marshmallow hearts. Well, they won't be hearts. They'll probably be bunnies at Easter time. But you're basically the same size. So you could use this. And we're just going to put this guy down here. You could use the same idea and make it for bunnies. Um, I don't think they do anything for St. Patrick's Day. So if you wanted a St. Patrick's Day thing, um, you know, there will be other candy that's out. Let me see if this is going to work. Yeah, I think that will work. So you could, but the, the whole idea of just, just this wrapper, I used this I, same idea for snowman poop. I know that sounds terrible. And then we're going to put this little heart right here. Um, for craft fair projects a couple of years ago, I made snowman poop. I just have to grab some mini dimensionals. I usually grab them when I want, want the big ones, but I can't seem to grab my minis for some reason. So this is going to go in this corner up here, like so. I might put another one there. But this is really easy. Now I did die cut the the tags. The tags is for, die is from the Taylor Made tags, and they're tags, and they're not very expensive. I think that whole set of Taylor Made tags is only. T Dies. Oops, no, 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 Joey. This is supposed to go over this heart. I'm messing it up. There. Well, kind of. There's some adhesive there. Um, if you don't have an adhesive eraser, this is an adhesive eraser. And I have found them at do at the dollar store. Okay, so there's the tag, but now we need to, I need to show you how to put together the candy holder, and it's super easy. So I'm going to actually put adhesive right on my pattern paper like this, just so it holds this candy in place. So we're not putting this in a bag or, or anything. And this is going to come up like this. This is going to come over like this. And see, you can, well, sorry, you can see it's the, I think it needs to come down just a, bit, a little bit. So I'm pulling very, very gently, and I'm going to put it down just a little bit, like this. There we go. And I'm just going to glue this close. I know a lot of times when I make a 3D holder, oh, thanks, Libby. Um, a lot of times I make it so they don't have to rip it apart to open up, but this is a fast and simple, easy thing. Now we're going to grab our Orchid Opulence twine. This is a, this is a shortcut too, so I'll show you what I do with this. I just take a mini glue dot, and I'm going to do what we did on that one card where I put it down to hold my twine in place. I'm going to do that same thing, only I'm probably going to use use actually a couple of them here and I'll show you why we're gonna do a faux faux wraparound bow so I've got that with many to glue dots now I'm gonna grab my twine and I'm gonna stick the end of my twine right here on top of that top of one of those and now I'm gonna wrap several times I'm gonna wrap this just around the top like this. And then I'm gonna pull this over and just stick that one on the other 
mini glue dot and then I'm gonna trust that to hold pretty well then I'm going to take my tag I'm gonna get put my tag my tags gonna just cover that up but I kind of want my candy to show we went to all that trouble to have the paper and the candy match so I'm gonna grab my um, Stampin' Dimensionals and I'm gonna put them on the back of my tag. I might actually put three. I really want this to hold as well. At least till I give it to them. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna angle it a little bit, but not too much because I want them to be able to see the heart there. Okay. Now, I'm gonna make a double bow again. Just take this and go here. I'm just doubling my twine. I'm cutting that loop, and then I'm cutting it the same size. And I just have two, and we treat it as one. Okay, whoops. Go here, like that. Whoops, sorry. Got distracted here and my husband, he forgot to shut his office door. <laughs> Yesterday he worked in Omaha. Omaha, Nebraska is about 45 minutes from here and that's actually where his, he's uh, in charge of cybersecurity at Bank of the West in Omaha, but he hasn't worked in the, in the building for ever since COVID started. So I don't know if he'll ever go back in every day or not. But anyway, yesterday he was at work, so it was very quiet. And today he's having meetings on the phone, and he forgot to shut the door. That's okay. We're just about done. Okay, so there's our cute little treat holder. Now here's the, what do you think? Do you like the pink one or the purple one? Here's the pink. <laughs> here's the purple. What do you think? I think maybe I do like the purple better. I'm not sure. Let's get some gems on here and get this all finished up. So let's put let's put a pink one on on his back maybe. And then maybe a small pink one on this little heart. And maybe one more on the Valentine just like this one on the tag now you know it took me a while to make that but i was showing you things and uh trying to explain it it would not normally take me that long i would have all the die cutting and punching done ahead of time and the stamping done and then to assemble it it wouldn't take you very long so i'm looking at um i'm looking at i know i've probably lost some of you but if you're still on let me know whether whether you like the pink kitty best or the purple the purple kitty we'll just say pink or purple which one you like better and i'll get out the other projects we made well you can also tell me what your favorite was too we started with the lock and slide card then we did the two fun folds so we've got the easel card and then we've got the fun fold with the black kitty so pink, purple, purple, purple. I think you guys are with me, except some of you like pink better. But you know, that's what's beautiful about stamping. You can pick whichever one you want. Oh gosh, I get, this, this keeps moving. I know other demonstrators don't use these mats and I think that's why they just use, um, they're just on the wood surface, but my wood surface is too shiny. So that doesn't work for me very well. But thank you so much. Oh, Kathy, you like them all. Donnie, you like the purple. Kathy likes the pink. Very good. Okay, excellent, you guys. Thanks for joining me. Next week, I think we're going, I don't know what we're going to do yet. I, we might do some embossing techniques with the fragrant flowers. Um, I've seen some really fun things with that beautiful paper. So we might, we might use that for that next week but i haven't made my sample so i don't really like to say this is for sure what we're doing because then if i do something different then you're disappointed so i don't want you to be disappointed thank you so much for joining me today and thanks um thanks for supporting me you know when you even just like or make a comment on my facebook page or my youtube um 
page when you're watching the video. Thank you for the hearts. Um, it helps me a lot and I am trying to grow my business and I hope I'm helping you at the same time and that we can help other people too when you share it. So thanks so much for sharing and thanks for being here. See you next Wednesday with another free online class and um, I'm not sure what it'll be. It'll be a surprise. All right, take care everyone. Thanks again. Bye-bye.